I've always been really curious about uh, the publishing world. Um, I uh, really enjoy research and reading and studies. Um, and I've always been really interested in writing. Um, and I wanted to hone my communication skills. I uh, was particularly interested in scientific writing, but this year I've got a chance to dip my toes into other forms of media like podcasts mm -hmm. and social media. So I think something that I really like about the editorial fellowship job is that no two days are the same and there's quite a wide range of duties and responsibilities that we have. So I suppose the, the headline thing that the is the responsibility of the fellow is editing the images in clinical medicine, but there's lots of other um, responsibilities as well. So you might be working on a podcast script, you might be working on getting review articles together. Mm -hmm. So we have to pitch topics for review articles to the editorial meeting. So doing a bit of research on that can take a bit of time. You could be working on a script for a stat stat. Sitting in the room when the editorial discussions are taking place. Um, I think this year I've learned so much about clinical trial design and statistics particularly. Uh, and I was very surprised by the fact that um, quite often there's a lot of debate going on about uh, manuscripts that the journal receives. And uh, it's really interesting to see the editors argue quite opposing um, uh, arguments about uh, the same body of work. So that has been very educational from one of the most educational moments for me. I think this fellowship has been tremendously helpful in a lot of different ways. I think there's some of the obvious ways that we've really strengthened our skills in editing and the editorial process. We've gotten to really uh, think about what makes a good manuscript, what builds research integrity, uh, and how we can incorporate that into our roles um, as potentially future authors or editors um, on different teams.